Hi guys. So for today's reading, we are going to be looking into what makes you so sexy. I woke up to a comment this morning from somebody who is telling me thank you for the last reading because I really saw their strengths and they don't see them themselves too often. So I figured it was time for another reading that tells you some of the good qualities about you. We have three piles today. One, two, three, take a moment to get in touch with your intuition and your higher self and pick the pile you feel most drawn to. And if you enjoy this reading, please remember to like, share, comment, subscribe. All of that helps my channel to grow and it also shows me how much you appreciate me being here for you to do this. And this is an anonymous zone, so nobody knows who's doing that anyway. So if you enjoy this reading, take the time out to do that and if you'd like to see more of my future readings you can subscribe if you'd like to know when I'm posting them you can hit that little bell although you know what I post a lot of videos so that might get annoying anyway <laughs> I also have my Amazon wish list and my PayPal link in the description box below so you can donate to the channel if you'd like to and my prices and Skype link are down there if you'd like to get a personal reading let's get started with pile one so for pile one, I feel like one of the things that makes you the sexiest is how different you are from everyone around you. You are somebody who does not play by the rules. You don't color inside the lines. You don't stay inside your box. You were not made to be in a box. And you prefer to live outside of the box that most people live in. And you are somebody who may get a lot, you may get a lot of offers from other people as well. You may have a lot of people knocking at your door. You may, uh, you may also be on the very thin side as well for this pile. If you're not, you're still sexy and beautiful anyway. You're somebody very deep. People can really, uh, see a lot of beauty radiating outward from your insides. So it doesn't matter what the outsides look like, even when you are um, a little rough around the edges or even when you don't have time to do the things that are necessary to boost your beauty outside, you have a lot of beauty inside. So it doesn't matter what you've got going on outside anyway, you are amazingly beautiful on the inside. Getting away for the weekend will help you to clear your mind, so that could just be a message for somebody there. 6, 16, 17, 33, 42, 49, you could be that age, or you could also have a lot of people from a lot of different age groups who really find you very sexy, and you know, don't worry about the younger numbers there either, because my little brother, he was quite the ladies' man at, at three years old, he had a crush on my sister's friend, he had a crush on the lady at Denny's, and he insisted that we went when we went to breakfast one morning, he could bring her flowers. So that does happen sometimes. Let's see. Dignified, noble, distinct, powerful, clever, resourceful, has connections. I feel like you have a lot of people who have those little crushes on you, though. So you're somebody very much in power. You are somebody who is a leader, somebody who is looked up to, somebody who is very smart. And you have a lot of connections. You're very resourceful. You are very powerful and dignified calming, balanced, harmony, love, and light. <clears throat> you are somebody who brings a very peaceful, calming, balanced energy. You bring harmony to situations. You bring love and light in. You are somebody that really amazes people with the amount of peace you can bring. You are a very calming energy and you help to calm other people around you. <clears throat> which you might not think is sexy, but you know what? That is a very sexy energy to be able to walk into a room where two people are fighting and touch them both on the arm and have them stop what they're doing. That's the kind of energy you bring. And by the way, the Peacemaker bracelet is in pile three as well. Seven of Swords. People always want more. It doesn't matter how much they get. They always want more when it comes to you. People could spend a lot of time thinking about you, especially after you interact intimately together. We have the Two of Cups. You're very, <clears throat> you are somebody everybody wants to be friends with. And the best relationships start with friends as well. You're somebody very intelligent, somebody who really knows 
um, a lot of different things. You learn, you have learned a lot of different things. You are somebody who can really break into the minds of others, I feel like, as well. And once again, it's with that peaceful friendship, loving, harmony energy here. You may kiss very well as well. We have the Five of Swords, the Nine of Wands. You could dance very well. You may, uh, you may have done some lap dances for people at some point. If so, they find this very sexy and alluring as well. You are somebody who has a very nice butt too. Your butt is very, very prominent. People really enjoy looking at it. Your chest area is nice as well, whether you're a male or a female. And you kind of have this cheeky, playful attitude that people really enjoy. You're somebody who has been through so much, but you don't allow that to drag you down. And you are somebody who can bring peace to any kind of conflict or situation that's out of control. Nine of Cups. You're somebody who is kind of like that dream come true to other people. Everyone wants to be able to come in and give you their heart. And since there are so many people who want you, people find this very attractive, sexy, alluring to be in your presence. I feel like your hair is a very prominent feature for you as well. Um, you may do it in many different styles. You may um, do it in many different ways. And people find how you change it up to be very, very sexy as well. You could also be somebody who cooks very well too. We have the whale and the lizard. So you're somebody who gets along with anyone and everyone, somebody who can fit in anywhere. <clears throat> and you're somebody who can really regenerate yourself time after time after time. It doesn't matter how many breakups you've been through or how many situations have gone sour. You are somebody who picks yourself back up and you can go out and do it all over again. You're somebody very deep, very intuitive, loving, kind, compassionate, caring. You are somebody who brings a wealth of emotion to other people and you help them to see the world in a different way through the eyes of empathy. So that makes you very, very sexy to be able to do that. And that's what I have for this pile. I really hope you guys enjoyed this reading. I would absolutely love to hear what you have to say about it in the comments below and whether or not you feel like this is you. I hope you guys have a beautiful night or day, whatever it is, wherever you are when you're watching. Bye-bye, guys. Pile two. For you guys, you come with a lot of transformative energy. I rolled this dice and we got the one and the five. I always use the one that landed on top and then the one that landed facing towards me. <clears throat> You're very much in alignment with yourself, and you had to go through a lot to get there. You are somebody who has a lot of self-love. You are somebody who has a lot of opportunities, a lot of new beginnings, a lot of learning and growth came from every situation you've been through. You've used every situation you've been through as a, as a situation to learn from, grow from change from. There's a lot of transformative energy here for you because this is my transformation bracelet as well. You are somebody who has a lot of passion, drive, motivation, ambition, goals, and you are somebody who puts in the work necessary to make the changes necessary to have the life that you desire. No boundaries. <clears throat> you could be somebody who really... Um, maybe didn't have boundaries in the past and you have really switched it up and set your boundaries in places that are good for you and good for others. You're somebody who is very down to earth, humble, grounded, um, calming. You are very calming. You bring a lot of peace. It's like a peaceful rainstorm, if you know what I mean. Very cleansing, very calming. Everything just goes to rest for a little bit when you're around. You are also somebody who has a lot of passion, a lot of passion here, and a lot of passion for your spiritual beliefs, your religious beliefs, whatever it is that you um, believe in on that front, you have a lot of passion for that. And more passion. You're just a very, very, very passionate person. Passionate, feisty opinionated, bold, expressive, and you don't care 
you will cross the line. If you feel like the line needs to be crossed, you will cross that line to say what you need to say. Say what you need to say. You have the key to other people's hearts. You have the key to your own heart. You are somebody who really opens up the hearts and minds of people around you. You are somebody who, yeah, we got lots of hearts here too. You are somebody who um, other people feel like you have such an amazing heart that it should be, um, it's on this pedestal for some people. <laughs> people may feel like they have to scale a lot of walls to get inside your heart as well. That it takes a special key to get in. And since it takes a special key to get in and your heart is not made for everyone, that makes you sexy and attractive as well. Go-getter, passionate, leader, charismatic. What I say about passionate? Independent, adventurous, on the go, entertainer. So you could be somebody who is a social media influencer. You could be somebody who's a tarot reader as well. You could be somebody who is a social warrior just or social justice warrior. You could be somebody who's a carnival worker. A gypsy on a caravan. You could be a fortune teller. Uh, things like that. You are somebody who really is... You do things on your own terms. You may even have your own business. You are somebody who's very adventurous. You are somebody who loves to travel. Loves to get out there. Loves changes and new beginnings. Four of Pentacles. People could really love watching you sleep the world. Temperance, yes, temperance. This one, ha this deck has all of the languages on it. Ten of Wands, Knave of Swords, and I haven't used it in a bit. So people love watching you, and people love the way you communicate. The way you communicate is in a very uh, counselor-like way. You're somebody who can really get into the minds of people around you. You love learning. You love um, new adventures, new stimulation for the mind. You are somebody who works very hard as well and people could really enjoy just people really enjoy your body whatever your body looks like people love to look at your body people love to touch your body people love to admire you your strength your um, passion your ability to end old cycles and begin new ones your ability to keep people away from you. You you really make people work for what you have to offer. You make people put in that work and you make people have that patience and take that time because you know that the people who are going to be worth it the most are the ones who are willing to put in that time and effort instead of just expecting you to give them everything for free. And you're very patient. You're very patient. You're very hardworking. You are... Um, somebody who can leave the past behind so that you can have a new beginning you're somebody who um, saves as well there could be some people who find it very um, sexy that you are good with money or you can save money you are very beautiful when you sleep too I feel like there's a lot of people who think you are just amazingly sexy when you sleep or like when they sleep in the same bed with you and they wake up the next morning, they catch themselves staring at you until you wake up because you are so sexy in your sleep. You're very peaceful in your sleep. You could be a very, very passionate, bold, adventurous, fiery person who's so animated and ready to go to war. That kind of thing when you're awake and then when you're asleep, you're so vulnerable and sweet and kittenish. I want to say kittenish. <laughs> Um, I feel like people really love your hair as well, especially if it's curly or red or blonde or, or black, brown. There's lots of different hair colors here. You could be somebody who changes your hair color on a regular basis. You could dye your hair a lot and it's always something new. We have the lamb and we have the dolphin. So you are very healing as well. You are somebody who brings a lot of playful, vibrant, youthful energy. You're very, very, very intelligent yet again. People love the way that your mind works and your mind works in such a different way. You see things in many different perspectives and you are somebody very, very peaceful. Even though you are this fiery, ambitious, passionate, feisty, bold person. You are a very peaceful, harmonious person. You may really love your alone time as well. 
and you really put a lot of effort into your prayers or your meditations and people find that to be very sexy too. You are somebody who is very passionate and at the same time on the other side of the coin, you are very calming and peaceful. So that's what I have for this pile and I really hope that you guys enjoyed this reading. I would absolutely love to hear how you felt about it in the comments below, whether or not it resonated, um, whether or not this sounds like you and who you are and I hope you have a beautiful night or day, whatever it is, wherever you are when you're watching. Bye bye guys. Pile three. So for you guys, you have been working on something long, hard, patient. You've had to give a lot of your trust, your faith, your perseverance, your determination to whatever it is that you have been working on. And you are willing to put in that energy, that effort, that time. And to grow something steady, stable, strong from the ground up. You really, I feel like a lot of you believe in the one as well. People find that very sexy too, that you believe that there is somebody special just for you out there and that you are, you are, eh, you are willing to wait for that special spark to come in. There may also be somebody who wants to take you on a honeymoon or take you on a vacation of some sort, or you could have gone on a honeymoon with someone. Uh, that's kind of what I, what popped in my mind when I first seen this, when it popped out. And I've never actually had that feeling from that. <clears throat> you could be somebody who enjoys going on vacation. You could be somebody who always makes sure to take time for yourself, for healing, for growth, time away from people, that kind of thing. You are somebody who communicates from a place of unconditional love. Somebody who tries to bring peace to any situation. You see where people are fighting or arguing, and you bring common sense into those situations as well. You're very diplomatic in your approach to situations. Be happy, be brave, be drug free. Red Ribbon Week, I pledge to be drug free, October 23rd to the 31st. So you could be somebody who uh, has kept your sobriety, even through the hardships you've faced, even through the pain you've faced, even through everything you've gone through, you have kept your stability. And I feel like a lot of you have been through a lot, but you have kept your stability because you promised yourself that you would. And others find it amazingly beautiful that you were able to do this, <clears throat> that you were able to stay at the top of your game even with all the temptations in front of you we have canada 25 cents 2007 elizabeth the second dg regina um you are very leadership you are leadership material very stable very grounded very strong very down to earth you are very family oriented as well and you take care of those that you love you may also be very connected to um, those who have crossed over to the other side. You may be very connected to your ancestors. You really look to them for wisdom, guidance, inspiration, leadership. You uh, gain a lot of strength from the people that have passed on. And you work so very hard. 30828 to 1922 HCO. You're somebody who has really been through an immense amount of hardship and you have allowed that to bring you more fully into alignment with yourself you have made peace with yourself and with others around you you are a very good friend and people know that they can grow something stable and strong with you clear perceptive resourceful alert quick-minded and alert I'm gonna mention pile one in this one I mentioned pile three and pile one um, Pile one was very receptive, perceptive as well, very quick-witted, clever. Um, you're very smart. You're understanding. You see inside of people, and you know who they are. Logical, balanced, temperate, decisive. You're somebody who is very... Um, you really are very intelligent, very smart. And at the same time as being intelligent and smart and uh, well-read, well-learned, you also, on the other side of the coin, are very spiritual, intuitive, knowing. You're uh, 
you can keep up with any conversation. You never fall behind. You always know what's going on around you. The stars, the magician, six of swords, the tower, and judgment. So you are somebody who's very open-minded as well. Um, this stars card is actually about people and their fetishes and not judging their fetishes because the one who really truly loves you won't be judging your fetishes and you won't be judging theirs. You're somebody very forgiving. You're somebody who knows how to rise above and you are somebody who is open-minded. You are okay with trying new things. You are, um, you can be very, very, very dirty in the bedroom, and people really, really love that. They love that you are open to trying anything, experimenting with anything, doing new things, going new places. You have all of the tools you need to create the life you desire, and you manifest very effectively as well. You are somebody who can be very um, sneaky. You are somebody who really knows a lot of different things. You are able to communicate very well. You have a lot of different thoughts, ideas, and passions. You are somebody who is very loving and intuitive and emotional. And you are somebody who is very passionate and driven and goal-oriented. And uh, you are somebody who you may really love a lot of different play in the bedroom. You are somebody who likes role-playing. Somebody who likes dressing up. Somebody who likes... Uh, doing different things. You may even enjoy dressing up to go out and have a good time as well. You are somebody that when things fall down, you can build them back up. You are somebody that can really change your foundation and become a whole new person if you need to. And you can leave behind any thoughts of um, guilt, shame, or anything like that surrounding anything that you like. And you are not judgmental of other people and what they like either the vulture and the elephant. You are somebody who can transmute energy, somebody who can cleanse the energy of the area and the field that you're in, and you are somebody who really helps others to stop hating themselves. You help others to see themselves as beautiful and amazing, and you help them to stop feeling guilty, ashamed, and um, afraid to express what they truly desire and want. You're somebody very wise, down to earth, grounded, somebody who really has all the answers and you remember everything. You remember everything. Even if you forgive everything, you remember it all because you learn from it, you grow from it, and you no longer accept things that are not good for you, but you do not judge them. You do not judge what anyone else does. So that's what I have for this pile, and I really hope that you guys enjoyed this reading. I would absolutely love to hear how you felt about it in the comments below, and I hope you guys have a beautiful night or day, whatever it is, wherever you are when you're watching. Bye.